What's up everybody, Alexander the Day Trading Champ and today was one of those rare days when everything comes together and gives you one of those beautiful 20x trades. Now I know a lot of you have never experienced a 20x trade, uh, I have a little bit of experience I would say so let me recap how this trade went. Now guys if you're not subscribed to the channel, alright, I need you to because we posted all this information before the market opened today, it was in our previous few videos and if you watch them then you were 100% ready for the shorting opportunity and we pretty much pinpoint nailed it and I want to say that if you're not reading the comment section you probably should and if you're not asking questions you need to be doing that as well because that's where you're going to be getting specifics that's where I'll be able to answer you in detail and you can really figure out the little things that maybe you didn't get in the video okay but if you go back and look at the comments in the last video I pointed out that the reversal will most likely take place at 2.30 around there okay so look at the time here uh, you have to realize this is central time on the graph so 1340 is when we uh, reverse so that's 140 central time and in eastern time that's 240 all right so you go back and look at the comment section I said by 230 the initial reaction will have taken place and will reverse um, on top of that if you haven't seen the other videos we talked about this 3420 level being a key level all right I'm about to pull up a clip of me saying that's gonna be the easiest shorting opportunity of your life especially if the dollars holding up and that's exactly what the dollar did even after that rate announcement the dollar stayed strong and that's how we knew this was gonna be the easiest short now you could have been taking gains on the way down you could have stayed confident and you could have 20x okay so let's get into that clip of me saying any level drawn up and you're ready for it if we approach it. Now the thing you need to be keeping out an eye out on is VIX. How is the VIX moving when we approach 3420? And then look at the dollar. How is the dollar doing? Is dollar plummeting? Guys, if dollar's plummeting, then we're very likely to break through it. Otherwise, if the dollar's holding up, that's the easiest short you could ever take in your life. Now guys, that video came out on Monday, okay? But we were talking about how the next time we do approach that 3420 level, be ready to short it, and that came on Wednesday, okay? So the point is, if you're just watching the latest video, sometimes you're missing out on a video that was the day before, and that might have a very important key point you need to know. Now guys, I realize you are asking some really good questions in the comments, so keep that up. Keep asking these good questions because when you do that, it makes us get into the specifics that maybe we didn't go over the video, and when you ask a question, it's very likely that someone else is asking that, so you're helping them too by doing that. We get the answers, we get down to the bottom of things. Now, in the last video, uh, you look at the Fed video that we just posted. Uh, some guy asked, he said, what time is this thing going to happen? Please let me know. And I said, so it starts at 2, but we're expecting the initial reaction to have taken place by 2.30. Now look at the chart here, okay? Um, we said the initial reaction would have taken place by 2.30, and that's when it would be safe to short, okay? So you look at the chart here. Uh, the reversal starts at 2.30. Okay, so this is central time. 1330 really it's actually 230 Eastern time okay so that's when the reversal starts taking place so just by looking at the comments like that that's where you get the specifics on like you know the better time to short it so keep the questions up because that's really helpful I think for people especially when you read that and if you're not reading that make sure you do read them because there's a lot of important information like the time of the reversal we literally pointed out there now guys Here's that 40 point drop we were talking about. Um, look at the option chain here. You can clearly see the 3410 strikes. We're going for 20 bucks. And uh, oops, when we we're at the top, these contracts were worth one dollar. That's a 20x trade. Those don't come around often. But if you watch the channel, if you're a sub, then you've seen the videos that we've been posting. You're fully ready for that trade and you definitely made some money. With that being said, let's get into the next point. So next point I wanted to make is look at the net change on the day. It says we're down 18. So a lot of people like new traders, they don't actually pay attention to the intraday charts. Now, if you're a day trader, you absolutely need to be, especially if you're new, maybe you don't know, that's fine. But I want to point out like, look, we're down 18, but look at the chart, 40 point drop in an hour and a half. So a lot of people don't really know what they're talking about. Like when we say short the earnings, but yet the stock says it's up 40 at the end of the day, uh, it doesn't mean that there wasn't money to be made on the short side so I, I see a lot of beginners making that mistake where they think like oh you idiot zoom was up 40 points how could you say short it but they're really missing the intraday drops that's what we want to take advantage of and that is what we do 
Now guys, like I've repeated over and over, I'm not going to go into everything in detail. The videos are on the channel and all you need to do is subscribe so you see them before these moves actually take place. But we're going to recap really quickly how you know Amazon kept gapping up pre-market and then forfeiting its gains. That's exactly what it did today and we said the other stocks will follow lead. Apple, Netflix, Facebook, Adobe. I mean, they all did it, okay? They all reversed um, today. That was beautiful to see. And we want to get into these earnings plays with Adobe and FedEx. We pointed these out Saturday. We said short them after earnings. Now a lot of people will say, you're crazy. Don't short them. They're going to have good earnings. Um, yeah, they had great earnings. That shoots up 20, 30 points, okay? It doesn't mean well, once the market opens, there's money to be made there. All right, so make sure you actually know what you're doing when you're taking these trades. And if you don't, that's fine. We all got to learn. And just make sure you're watching the videos because you'll start learning. You'll start picking up on the things we're talking about here. Uh, it's not the conventional way of trading, but it is a highly effective way. And we keep making money this way. All right, so make sure you are subscribed. Guys, this is the trade recap for the day. Uh, you know, days like this don't come around that often. But when they do, you need to be ready. So make sure you're keeping up with the videos subscribe so you see these before they come out now guys i want to confirm that although it may seem like i have a crystal ball i don't okay so make sure when you're taking these trades you actually know what you're doing make sure you have your own knowledge and you've studied it yourself and uh guys it's been a great week so far let's continue and let's keep capitalizing on these gains uh by the way we got a twitter instagram down below if you want to, you know, maybe get some sneak peeks, uh, I will let you know if we got new content coming before it does, and maybe just like extra things, it's there if you want to. Um, I've already got some of you guys, you know, that's how I, you know, wanted to address this crystal ball thing is I got some of you guys texting me already on Instagram and Twitter saying like, what the hell, you have a crystal ball? I'm like, guys, come on, it's a, it's a good week. Let's continue it. All right. Um, with that being said, I'm Alexander, the day trading champ. And I will see you guys on the next video. Make sure you subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed the video.